friends welcome back to my channel again and i have come up with a recreation today it's been a long time that i haven't done any uh, sort of recreation so i thought of doing one and i was just going through instagram and i found a picture of dipika padukone wearing a sari and a hairstyle kind of this and i fell in love with the look totally and i thought at that moment only that i'll be recreating this look and today i finally have done it and i wanted to share uh, that recreation with you so here i have came up with that if you want to know how to recreate this entire look and uh, before that i want to tell you one thing that uh, mine and dipika padukone's features are totally di different and she is a diva no one can ever look like her uh, the, so i'm not co comparing myself to her it's just that i like her makeup and the way she made her up so i wanted to recreate the look that she was carrying and i don't want to be dipika i cannot be dipika because she is some something else that no one can ever be i am me so i just want to show you the way how you can uh, get that makeup look if you want to know then let's just get into the video and let's get started with it and uh, yeah so the very first step would be moisturizing as always because uh, if we see the picture of Dipika Padukons, it is very moisturized and glowy from within. For that, we need to moisturize and for that, I'm using this Nutridum moisturizer and then I'm using a primer because I want the makeup to be seamless and flawless and for that, I need a very uh, smooth base. After that, I'm using this foundation by Makeup Revolution. This is a dewy foundation. If you look closely to the makeup of Dipika Padukon, it was very good glowy and dewy that is why i have chosen this foundation along with it uh, i am going to mix the maybelline fit me foundation to match the shade uh, and, and then i'm going to blend it with a beauty blender can you see that glow this foundation gives a perfect dewiness and would be perfect for this look and that is why i've chosen it and then i'm following my regular concealer routine with the wet n wild medium deep then uh, I'm cancelling out any darkness around the eyes and at the mouth area and after that to bring out some of the light I'm using this uh, NYX HD concealer because in the picture she is having a little bit highlighted under eye that is why I'm using very less and then I'm blending it with the beauty blender. this is what it looks without even using any highlighter and then i'm just directly moving on to the contour and for that i'm using this uh, wet n wild contour stick because if you closely look at look into the picture she is having the contour more into the upside of uh, the cheekbone that is why i'm concentrating more on that and then blending everything with the beauty blender for a natural look and then again I'm taking the powder contour and concentrating on to that upper portion of my uh, cheekbone and not dragging it down so much because in the picture it uh, she she's having the contour line into that area only and then I'm also contouring the forehead and on the jawline to have a sharp face like her in the picture you can see that she's not going crazy with the blush and she had a minimal sort of a color onto her cheeks uh, which uh, which which was really glowy that is why I've chosen this palette uh, by swiss beauty and applying the both of the color to my cheeks but uh, mostly concentrating on the upper part and to give uh, a dewy finish i am using this dewy setting spray by nyx and applying all over my face and applying a little bit more so that uh, the glow can be matched to the picture and as you, as you can see this gives a very very uh, dewy finish and to give it more natural look i'm soaking any excess product that's there on my face face and then i'm directly moving on to the brows and she is having a very thick brows uh, like brown sort of a deep brown sort of and that is why i'm also uh, filling my brows with the deep brown color from this europe girl palette and following my natural shape voila you are done in the picture it can be seen that she is having a warm brown smoky eye look and a bla black sort of a color can be seen uh, close to her lash line for that i'm using this kajal firstly and then taking that dark brown shade i'm smudging this uh, line uh, so that i can create the exact eye look that she was uh, wearing and uh, then i'm uh, using a fluffy blending brush and then blending it outwards a little bit And 
and then I'm taking this brick red color from uh, the Wet n Wild palette and concentrating on to the outer V and the inner V of the look because in the picture if you see closely you can be uh, it can be seen that she is having uh, this sort of a color into her outer V and uh, inner V and then I'm using these two color together and applying above the crease line so that the transition of the color is smooth. This should look something like this and then I'm taking that brick red color and dragging that down into the lower lash line so that our look can be completed. And then I'm taking the brown, a dark brown shade from that palette and try to match the intensity of her. And then I'm taking a more black color and then applying it to the lid area so that it can match to the eye look that she was ha having. And then I'm giving a final blending and then voila, you're done. So by looking into the picture, I really could not figure out if she was wearing falsies or not. So I decided to wear a very natural one. And firstly, I'm just coating my lashes with a uh, mascara. And this one is by Lakme Iconic Mascara. I'm just coating uh, my lashes, lower and upper lashes nicely. And then I'm also applying a very natural uh, lashes, which... Uh, barely can be uh, you know identified and then i'm using this swiss beauty highlighter and applying it to the cheekbone because she was having really glowy and she had a sea sort of a glow going on into the picture and that is why i'm just taking the uh, highlighter into a brush like this and making a c effect and then I've also changed my dress into a sari uh, as close as possible to her. And uh, now for the hairstyle, I'm tying uh, my entire hair at the back. In the photo, it can be seen that she did not have a clear partition in the middle, but uh, but uh, there is a partition in the front section. That is why I tried to match that. And then to fix the front section, I'm using a hairspray and then uh, combing my hairs for a clean and neat look and then i'm just pulling out my hair to increase the volume of the hair she also had a hair flick going on uh, in this area so i also tried to do that and for the rest of the hair i'm just going to convert it to a bun a low bun because in the picture it cannot be seen that what type of bun she was wearing that is why uh, i'm just making a low bun of my choice and for that uh, firstly i'm just twisting my hair and then pulling the sections a little bit and then twisting it around itself and then pinning it down to secure the bun it is really easy bun and i've done it uh, several time in the previous videos as well She was also wearing some uh, flowers so I also tried to match that firstly she uh, it can be seen that she is having two red roses uh, in this area and then there is like white and pinkish short of a rose uh, at, at the very low portion and that is why I've also tried to do that and then I'm just uh, pinning the flowers alternately to the entire bun as you can see and you're done. She's wearing a peachy nude color so I've decided to wear this Smashbox driver's seat and I'm applying it to the entire lip uh, but it also can be seen that she, the lipstick that she is wearing was not proper matte it was a creamy matte to match that I'm using this lipstick by Maybelline and this is in the shade touch of spice and I'm applying it to the lips so that texture can also be matched. For the jewelry, she's wearing a pair of white stone earrings. So I also tried to match that and it's almost similar to what she was wearing. And this is the final look guys. I hope you guys liked it. I've tried my best to recreate this look as close as possible. Please do let me know in the comment section what are your thoughts about it. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, give this video a very big thumbs up. Share it with your friends and comment down below. And I will see you in the next video. Till then, bye. Love yourself and I love you all. Bye.